sun has got his hat on. Ha 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 ha! The sun has got his hat on. Hey, hello, and welcome to the man cave here at Wistful Vistas in beautiful suburban San Diego, California. Big things happening at the Cooper House today. We have the ladies' book club in there. No go zone for boys. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Just going to cover a couple of little quick items here. Number one, I have a Ulanzi. Uh, a GoPro 8 vlog case I want to try out. I have two GoPro cameras currently, an 8 and a 9, and I've been leaning heavily on that 9, and I have to say it's been, you know, a couple of complaints about it, but it's uh, overall been working out really great, really, uh, really like it. We're going to do an unbox and a test fit on that very quickly. And the other is this um, BPA Racing motorcycle chain slack adjuster tool. Now, uh, it's this is a tool that you can snap onto your chain very quickly and, and check for uh, slack. The interesting thing about this particular product is that you are supposed to set the chain to the correct spec initially, then adjust this tool to fit uh, and then you will have that um, as a reference point from then on to check for chain wear in between uh, maintenance services. I've just had the yearly service done on the Aprilia. I vlogged about that and I'm, of course, uh, I think I cried on everybody's shoulder about the fuel leak. So uh, we're going to do that. Uh, we're going to check that out, see if we can get that set up. But uh, first, let's open this uh, Ulanzi GoPro 8 and see how that works out. Let's give it a try. Hey, stand by. We're going to work this. Are you there yet? Yeah, we're here. <laughs> First of all, I want you to notice how neat the man cave is. I did a very, very studious and industrious cleanup, uh, including into the cabinets, which you won't see today. But uh, I want you to know that that took a lot of work and no little heartburn. <laughs> But let's get started. As I mentioned, I'm gonna back out of the camera now. You have to do without me and just listen to my voice floating above it all. Uh, as I mentioned, I have the two cameras, the uh, GoPro 8 uh, slimmer uh, profile, very interesting uh, design evolution by GoPro. And the 9, the 9 has the max lens on it. And I found this to be really good for uh, on the motorcycle vlogging. Uh, however, the 8, I want to try and do a, a multi-camera setup on the machine, so I'm going to work on that on the next uh, little while. Let's open up this up. This is from uh, Ulanzi, uh, made in Japan, or China, sorry, made in China, <laughs> Ulanzi. It sounds Italian and gives it something. GoPro 8 vlog case. Okay, opening it up, unboxing. It's empty, I get a sticker. Oh, yes, he's still my beating heart. Uh, vlog master plan from uh, Facebook. So Facebook and Yulanzi are collaborating on that. Oh, and another sticker. This one is uh, camera vlog accessories. Man, I can't wait to put that on something. Won't your friends be proud of you? Okay, the uh, case itself. I, uh, is mounted is in uh, bubble pack, bubble pack plastic. Try and say that quickly. Um, I'm just going to give a little plug to Yulanzi here. I, I did kind of make a bit of fun of them made in China. However, I've got to say I've had very good success with their products and uh, GoPro. This case is set up for a uh, lens filter as well. Something I don't often use. I want to play around with those a bit, but it, uh, this circular piece here means that it will adapt to a regular camera lens filter for different light situations. And uh, the back slides off like this. And they even supply a little lens cap here. So let's go directly to the GoPro 9. Here it is. One of the things about the GoPro 9 that people uh, tended to complain about, in fact, was this lens. The lens was not removable. 
and if you broke it, it was new GoPro time, although I think you may have been able to return it for repairs and things. Uh, the camera, other than that, still re required the dongle for the external mic in, but uh, had excellent stabilization qualities, and I did, in fact, use it for a while with the dongle, but I didn't have uh, a case for it like this. What's nice about this case is that it allows you to install the dongle in the bottom, keeps it secure, has the standard uh, GoPro type mounts on it, and then gives you access to the bits of the camera that you need to have access to, to put that all together. So in operation, and it's plastic. They, they do make a metal one, an aluminum version. I did get one of those, but it's so weighty. It's very heavy, and I, I think it uh, limits its uh, usefulness. The, the plastic is lightweight. You're not going to cry. It's under $20 USA. Don't know what you would pay in your country if you're watching this from somewhere else. And then this flips open like that. It's got a little rubber, rubber uh, baby buggy bumper here to absorb shock into that port of the camera. But that will allow us to take the camera, insert it in like this, and you can see it's now fitted nicely into the camera. Okay, unbox the camera. Let's uh, show how we successfully, we hope, put all this together. We have here the parts as we've taken them from the Ulanzi and our GoPro 8. I, misident I mistakenly identified that as a 9 a moment ago. GoPro 8 with a low profile. Ulanzi case in plastic. We put the GoPro 8 inside the Ulanzi case. Press it in. Uh, it's a snug fit which uh, actually you want, and uh, you've got to kind of make sure it stays in alignment as you press it in there. Okay, it's in there. Then we take the slider on the back, load it into the rails there, and push it in. Nice, satisfying little click there. <laughs> and uh, we need the dongle side to be on that side of the camera because that's where we plug it in. I, I apologize for the lighting in here, but uh, we've got a nice sunny day in San Diego. Go figure. And uh, it uh, may interfere with some of the clarity that you might wish to have. The uh, dongle is also a pretty uh, solid little fit in there. You slide that in like thus. Uh, the connector is hidden down inside here. Bit of a little bit of a challenge to get it all hooked up, but you can do it. Got it there. Press it in. Got it pressed in. And then we take the TRS. That's TRS. There are two little spacer uh, washers then. There's a TRRS and a TRS. We use the TRS. It plugs here into the circular hole. Uh, a little dark, I don't know if you can see it, but a little circular hole there. We put that thusly, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to go out and face the world. We've got the remote mic, the dongle, just love that word, the uh, connector, our Ulanzi 8, and the GoPro 8 in there. Now I don't think I'll be using this too much to record audio, voice audio, and ride. My intention is to mount this somewhere around the motorcycle and use it as a remote mic so I can look very sophisticated and smart like other vloggers do and switch between camera views as we're riding along. But uh, just again, another plug to Ulanzi. You can buy them on Amazon, as I mentioned, which I would recommend, at least in the USA, they come uh, very quickly. Or you can buy them directly from Ulanzi. I didn't discern a price difference, but ironically, it took a little longer to get here from uh, directly from uh, Ulanzi. Okay, cool. There we go. 
We've got it. Hey, let's go for a ride with this thing on there. Maybe we'll do one ride with uh, some voice recording and another one put around the bike and switch camera views. What do you say? <laughs> Have a great day wherever you are. That's it for now.